But you did something which I think a lot of people might find strange. You kind of wrote your own obituary. Faux obituary. Faux obituary. Yeah. Uh, will you read some of what I'd you wrote? I'd be honored. Yeah, okay. I mean, look, I, I normally don't have ask to basically yes. grab my book out of my hand. I will, I'll do the whole thing in the lobby for you. <laughs> okay, um, so this is after my stomach ripped. I was alone in my flat in the UK, and it was in my bathroom, and I keeled over. So it occurred to me much later that if I died then and there, and by all accounts I should have, and assuming of course it had been not only been a very slow news day, but that Gwyneth Paltrow had decided to stay home, <laughs> the front page of one of the trashier UK papers might have looked a little something like the following. Third rocker shocker. <laughs> US star found rotting. Once beloved ex-alien dead. Full story page 16, just past horoscopes. <laughs> Hollywood tragedy right here in the UK. Kirsten Johnson, third she not, that's funny because it's not my name. It's not her name. Okay. Yeah. Found dead on her loo. The a, on her loo. The actress whose success began and unfortunately ended with the absurd American television comedy Third Rock in the Sun had recently arrived in the UK to, to perform slow, in the West slow. End. I'm try, I thought you needed no, no, me to go no, fast. Don't, don't, don't feel you got to rush. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, the cause of her death is still undetermined, but due to her youth, nationality, and occupation, it's clearly either a drug overdose, suicide, or murder. <laughs> Rumor has it the forensic examiner is leaning towards homicide, fingers crossed. <laughs> Whatever the cause, the scene was so pr troubling that a paramedic was witnessed vomiting as he stumbled from the building. <laughs> Later, a constable commented that the gruesome scene brought to mind the death of Elvis Presley, another bloated, although far, obviously far more successful American star, <laughs> because he also happened to meet his maker whilst on his loo in 1977. <laughs> the corpse was discovered by a Mr. William Sloan, the building's caretaker. He explained that he was simply responding to neighbors' persistent complaints of a terrible odor. He said he expected to find a dirty socks or perhaps a rotting plate of bangers and mash. The very last thing he expected to find was a blood and vomit soaked B-list actress from the US decomposing next to a toilet. <laughs>